Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. If you're going to have text in your publication that will be printed at a commercial printer, you'll need to consider the fonts that you use in the publication. In order for your publication to look the same way you created it, your printer must have the same fonts installed on their computer as the ones used in the publication. Now a common reason that you may have fonts that your printer doesn't have is that the software that comes with your home or desktop printer may include several fonts that are custom to that printer model or manufacturer. And a way that you can be sure that your commercial printer has your fonts is to only use true type fonts. You can tell if a font is a true type font by looking at the symbol that precedes the font name in the font drop down box in the formatting toolbar. If the symbol looks like two capital T's, one overlapping the other, well then that's a true type font. You should use those types of fonts because they can be embedded in your publication, meaning that your font will actually be part of the publication that can then be sent to the printer. Now if you're not sure which fonts you have in your publication are true type fonts, then you can select tools, commercial printing tools, and then choose fonts from the menu bar. This will open the font dialog box where you'll see a listing of all the fonts that are being used in your publication. The font type and license restriction columns will tell you whether or not each font is a true type font and whether or not it can be embedded. By default, true type fonts are embedded, so you, if you wouldn't have to make any changes here if you use those. Now, if you're using a font that's not a true type and it can't be embedded, then consider choosing a different font for that group of text. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.